we showed that actually from 1976, 2005, we noticed that uh, People with Park there's an, 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 in an increased number of people with Parkinson's disease, especially later in the later years, 70 years of age and above. And it's not surprising that it's more men than women, because this particular disease uh, seems to affect more men than women in general. But I would say also in women, despite we don't reach the statistical significance to report it as a positive findings, we see the same trend are still an increase, especially in the 70 years of age and above. This is very important because it's telling us, first of all, that this, there's a burden of population that will have these diseases in the future. It's telling us that potentially we are better in making these diagnoses even later in life. That's why maybe in the past we were not able to get these diagnoses. Try to imagine somebody with multiple diseases Physicians back in the years were not maybe calling also Parkinson's disease, but now we do. However, um, we have reasons to believe that this is a, a real trend. In other words, is a real effect. It's not something that is due to the medical records only or to the medical practice only. Because we have a number of evidence that suggests that what we see is actually a real increase of Parkinson's disease. We observe a dramatic change in the US in some exposure to some risk factors that have been changed. You know, we know that environmental agents like, like pesticides or like smoking or other agents have been modified in the last uh, 70 years or so. So we think that the exposure to a number of risk factors has changed, causing potentially the Parkinson's disease to rise. We notice, this is important, we notice that in the group of people that were born from 1915 to 1924, there was an increased risk of having Parkinson's disease as compared to the other groups of people born later or sooner that we were able to, uh, to, to study. This is important because it's telling that maybe the particular population was exposed to specific agents or some environmental or some other factors that we, uh, we need to study and we need to confirm because this can help identifying the causes and the risk and improving um, the, um, the knowledge on the disease and potentially help finding a cure because this is what we want to do in the end.